It's only a category one, category two storm. So the direct wind damage isn't gonna be that high as if it was a three, four or five. The problem is, is that if this, the storm is so big and if it does stall for some reason, then the, the wind and waves keep acting on the shoreline. The erosion increases, the storm surge increases. And a simple example is to take a plate or a saucer from your coffee cup, fill it with water, and as you blow across the surface, you can see that the water leaves the near area and piles up on the far area. So that's what the storm surge is. The storm typically is moving, in this case, from the south to the north. So the, the wind field is counterclockwise. So on the north side of the storm, it is doing more, it is creating more storm surge than on the south. And as it's blowing across the surface, it's generating and increasing the wave heights that are already present. As the storm surge increases, the waves then are superposed on top of them and they do additional damage. The storm surge itself, coupled with the waves, causes beach erosion, which if structures aren't on piles and such, or on spread footings, they become eroded in front and the buildings fall and of course they can be destroyed. The high rise type buildings, those are on pilings. So they're not gonna fall over due to the storm surge. They just get flooded in the first, depends on the storm surge, the first story or the basements or the first two stories get ruined and they have to come back after the storm recedes and repair that damage. I don't know that there's anything you can do to prepare for the flooding except set yourself back from the ocean. And if the waters come up, the waters come up. They've evacuated a lot of the coastal lowlands to try and get people out of harm's way. The structures, on the other hand, whatever damage they, they, they experience, they're gonna experience. There's no question most of the damage is gonna be along the sandy coastlines. In the larger cities, of course, things will flood and they'll potentially flood and there might be problems, but along the sandy coastlines, particularly in New Jersey and Delaware and Maryland, the erosion can be large coupled due to the waves and with the storm surge, they can have major problems.